hey guys what's up welcome to a new video and before the video starts i just wanted to thank you all for the huge support we reached 5,000 subs so once again thank you thank you i appreciate it a ton and the support has been amazing okay now let's start with the video okay so today i will show you a few more games with my new tech and a few <laughs> very crazy games for example i had some games against avada against one of the probably best avada players we have right now and I will show you how to counter Avada properly because even if you play spam they can win against you and you need to block the Avadas the best way possible so they cannot fill up Avada pretty fast but we will jump into the games and then you will see it by yourself and as you can see we play against Kang it's also a youtuber a few of you know him like I said he's one of the probably better Avada players very very good if i'm not mistaken he also played the taiwan version before but you will just see it so i have a nude deck but my nude is not as spammy as maybe other new decks it's a bit different it was not the first time that i played against him so i knew a little bit what to expect and i could adapt a little bit better so i knew that his first companion was hermione because if he plays avada hermione plays avada so he immediately has to Avada refillment and <laughs> that can be very crucial so you see I have a ton of MP but I just want to be very cautious don't over play and here you see it BAM I immediately played Inflatious on Hermione I was already uh, I was immediately ready so I blocked the Avada from Hermione otherwise he would have already three refillments now because he used Avada he used Priori and he played another avada so he already is at two but with hermione he would be at three in such a short time so it's very important to try to block it and you see i have still a ton going on on the board but it will always be very very critical against avada players if they manage to refill their hp and everything so yeah at that point i was like okay he managed to kill everything and even though he's very low HP, a Nevada player can always turn the game around. That's the problem. So you need to be very careful. Bam! And here I managed to block his uh, next Avada. And that's very important to always keep an eye on the enemy and see, okay, what could he try to kill? And then you adapt to it. So, uh, yeah. You cannot always block every Avada for sure, but since i basically blocked already two avadas we were in a very good spot he still played very well but blocking two avadas is um, yeah not very good for him and yeah you can see uh, we just basically overrun him at some point so it's always crucial if you play against avada try to block however you want to do it try to block his avadas whatever inflation is a very good card to stop it also to stop a pisky and everything so yeah that's why i love this card in this deck yeah it gives you a little bit of benefits it also stops a run um most of the time so yeah very good and not as expensive as crucial and crucial you cannot play it in the total bag of the board yeah this is just an example let's say how to best possible play against savada and yeah a little bit of luck is always needed i would say because of the card cycle but yeah let's check the next game out you know what guys i think avada is very interesting so this is another game against kang again this is actually the first one well i think i i played him a few times before so yeah obviously a little bit of a different match because i think um, in this game i was not 100 sure which was for his first companion but yeah i mean looking at the green light I immediately knew okay he will play avada but he mainly plays avada so yeah if you know that a player is an avada cadaver player always ban hermione because an avada player with hermione is even more dangerous because they can play avada for three mp and everything to reduce the cost they way too dangerous way too dangerous so yeah that's why i always try to ban those players and here you can see he immediately charged up two times because of Hermione and he has the next Avada ready so that's the, the very dangerous part about it <laughs> three times in less than a minute 
in 40 to 45 seconds. Crazy. So you can't see how fast it goes with Avada Dex. And he says that he managed to kill my whole board, basically. Yeah, sure, I had a niffle and everything. Yeah, I uh, blocked his Episki with Inflatious. Is it needed or not? Well, you can do it. It's not probably needed. But, um, yeah. With my Conigal, I always try to spam super, super fast to get at least one locomotor. And yeah, sadly, I knew, okay, he has run, I can do nothing against it because I played my inflations before and he had his Avada ready. <laughs> so, no joke, I was sweating so much. Um, a lot of people also say that Avada needs a buff. I don't agree at all, as you can see here. It's very balanced here. I managed to um, skip his Avada. But well, Avada is very balanced, very good. You just need how uh, you just need to know how to play it. It's a very high, high, high skill deck, so it's not for everyone. I also don't like to play it. I, I have no clue how to play it. But a skilled player will play it very well. But in the end, he missed his chance to kill me. I overwhelmed him. So yeah, it's Avada is always a high risk, but it's very good for free to play players because it's a good win condition and you don't need to have the card maxed out but I would still suggest to have the card at least on level 11 or 12 because if it's too low it may be possible that it doesn't kill the enemy units like let's say you have a level 11 Avada and you play against level 17 18 Opelai the Opelai will survive just an example um, so yeah keep that in mind that Avada needs to still kill the enemy units what you can do is lower the enemy units health and then avada on them yeah that works so yeah just a quick information <laughs> but yeah let's check out one more game okay and this time we're playing against an egg deck i am not a huge fan of it but hey it is a card like any any other card and what is very important with the egg i usually just let it pop off here i tried to do a little bit of damage but i was like okay well you played his run there whatever okay the egg will just pop off and we need to accept that try to somehow counter it but that was already pretty pretty scary an egg with an opali or a dragon with an opali but um yeah you will see we managed pretty well even though here I was really scared, but luckily we had Inflatious, so I could block him, and his dragon barely died. Barely died. Um, Opli is still on the board. I admitted that Opli is one of the weaknesses of my deck, for sure. But luckily we have the Crab. Even if the Crab doesn't attack him, normally he tanks a lot, so Opli just focuses on the egg and takes a huge time to even kill um, the Opli, if he even manages to do it. <clears throat> he was like, okay, I have two 1 MP cost cards, so I can technically keep it for Mechanical. Three 1 MP cards, very strong, very strong, very good. And here, yeah, we have Mechanical second slot. That's what we love to see here immediately. Pow, 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 Mechanical, Mechanical. Show her true strength. And that's the thing, Mechanical immediately destroys everything. It's crazy. He had uh, all water, which is very good, but Inflatious was here the key to success. And we already have like one locomotor. So yeah, as you can see, we immediately turned everything around just because of Mechanical. Yeah, he still has a dragon on the board, which is annoying, but... Our units can take care of it. McGonagall still on the board. Um, so yeah, I was not scared at all, even with the egg and everything. Sure, I was like, just get your egg, next locomotor uh, from McGonagall. <laughs> and yeah, her ability transforms him the whole time. Yeah, what do you want to do against it? Like, if he doesn't have like a proper answer immediately to McGonagall, she will be a pain to deal with. She will be a pain to deal with. That's the... That's the um, proof of it. Yeah, I think here he was just a little bit. He didn't know what to do anymore. But yeah, GG, well played. Mechanical MVP in this game without a doubt. And yeah, she's just one of the best companions out there at the moment. Especially with Newt. 
with new S tier. <laughs> okay, this was it from this video. I hope you liked it, guys. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Otherwise, if you have other ideas about what you want to see in the future, leave it down in the comment section below. I cannot guarantee that I will do everything, every video. It's not always possible with the time and everything, but I always look to the through the comments. I try to take your ideas and put them into videos, but yeah, it's just not always possible, obviously. Okay, this was it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.